So I spoke to the two non-citizens. It, uh, it was a family. It was a grandmother, uh, the children's mom, and the two children, one adult, one juvenile male and one juvenile female. When they tried to pull him over, he accelerated to up over 90 miles an hour, and then he finally decided to stop. So it's a good thing that he stopped before we got into the community, right? Because once we get into the community, we have to outweigh the risk of the pursuing versus not pursuing anymore, right? They're facing severe jail terms. And a lot of times what I say is the jail time's the least of it. You're 17 years old, you're 16 years old, you're being charged as an adult for a vehicular manslaughter or a negligent homicide. All that apart, you gotta live with that with the rest of your life. This is high level felony stuff, whether it's from the federal law side or from the state law side when you're endangering the citizens of this community, endangering your passengers and fleeing from law enforcement. To all the parents out there, know where your kids are at. We have more incidents where we are catching kids down here and we call the parents, they have no idea they're in the southeast corner of the state of Arizona smuggling. If you can just put yourself in the mindset of that 17 year old, that 16 year old, that's, you know, he's driving mom's car, the adrenaline dump and the stress, you're not thinking clearly at that point. And all of a sudden you just have these five or six people who you would never let into your car, jump into your car. And now you're driving and all of a sudden a marked law enforcement unit gets behind you. And then those red and blue lights go on. I mean, how do you handle that when you're, you still have a developing brain, right? You're gonna make bad decisions. And you look at him and he's a kid. He's a freaking 16 year old kid. People do die and people are dying and people are getting seriously hurt with forever life-changing injuries. You're working with an international criminal organization when they partake in this, it's dangerous. So please parents, engage with law enforcement, help us on that, and let's try to stop this behavior. This isn't about an immigration issue. It's about a, a very dangerous criminal organization that will do anything to anyone to make sure that they continue to move their product. At some point, you have to pay the price for that. And if you do it here, I'm the guy who's gonna guarantee that you will pay the price. Just, I guess my big question would be, was, was this all worth it? You destroyed your life, you destroyed my mom's life, my brothers, my sisters, all for six grand.